If you are someone enjoy decorating your workspace with a bunch of cool LED lights and want to get the best band for your buck, then this video is for you. Hi, this is Chen from DriftDev. In this video, I'm gonna break down a few factors to compare Philips Hue and Govee Smart Lighting products that might just help you to decide on your next lighting setup. Philips Hue has been on the market for a while and is widely known as the standard of home smart lighting package. But things have changed lately. As a new player in town, Govi rapidly gained its popularity from online communities with their innovating products. That makes me thinking, maybe it's time for Govi to overthrow the king of LED game. As a fairly new company, Govi quickly packed its arsenal with some of the best LED products in the market. Their Glide series wall lights like the tube shape and the panel LED lights you might have seen all over the internet from gaming setups to general desk lighting. Govi has a huge selection of smart lighting products including light strips, bars, panels, you name it. Besides lighting products, you can also find a bunch of smart home appliances like air purifier and humidifiers. Philips Hue is well known for its large selection of LED light bulbs in different sizes and shapes. You can also find light strips and light bars, but it doesn't offer some of the new formats like LED panels and wall lights, which are very popular nowadays for desk setups. If you are interested to get one of the coolest LED panels on the market, click the link on the bright corner and check out my review on the Govi Glide Hex Pro. Overall, Philips Hue is focused more on the home fixture lightings to provide a cozy environment, while Govi offers more colorful and fun LED lightings to spice up your man cave. I can't necessarily say which one is better, so I call it a tie on the first round. Almost all smart lighting products are solely controlled by a mobile app, so a great software support is crucial to fully utilize its capabilities and provide a user-friendly interface. The amount of customization you get from Govi's app is seriously impressive. Take the panel wall light for example, you will find hundreds of presets categorized under different mode section. Inside the DIY page, you can change the light setting on each individual panels. The AI image effects allow you to upload an image and generate the color theme from your favorite animation character. Some of other functions like workshop creation let you use lighting effects uploaded by the user community and you can also share your customized effects and spread the goods. The group function allows users to create a package with multiple Govi devices to display the same lighting effect. With all that being said, I haven't even touched half of its capability. It's crazy how many functions you can tweak around if you dig into it. As a result, you get almost unlimited options to customize your Govi LED lights. Philips Hue app has a minimalistic UI, which looks cleaner and more intuitive than Govi's app. I have to give them that. But it falls short on the light scene options and overall customizability compared to what Govi has to offer. You can sync multiple devices to display the same color theme via a local Wi-Fi network, but this function requires a separate Hue Bridge device which costs $60 extra and it has to be directly connected to the router. The setup process isn't very convenient either, since you have to press the physical button on the Hue Bridge every time you connect to a new device, which is a bit of annoying. On the other hand, Govi Sync doesn't require a separate integration device, just connect all the lightings under the same Wi-Fi and you're good to go. So overall, Govi is a clear winner on this section. Both Govi and Philips Hue can pair with most of the smart home systems like Amazon Alexa, Google Assistant. Philips Hue is also compatible with Apple HomeKit, which is a huge plus for all Apple users. I hope Govi will release their updates on the HomeKit integration soon, but as of now, you can still control it through the widgets or shortcuts to achieve the same tasks. What Govi does have an edge is its new partnership with Razer Cinema 3 to sync with your gaming rigs and other Razer peripherals. This integration can bring your gaming lighting experience to another level. Because both of our candidates have something unique to offer based on what features can benefit more for your setup, I'll call it even on this one. And here comes the biggest advantage for Govi over Philips Hue. That would save you some money. A typical Philips Hue lighting setup for your desk with one LED strip and two light bars will run you north of $350. And that's not even include the Hue bridge which is required to connect to Wi-Fi and sync all your devices with extra $60. At total, we're looking at $400 for a simple startup kit. 
compare this to the same setup from Govi with less than half the cost while providing more customizations. Not to mention the ridiculous $329 floor lamp from Philips compared to Govi's Lyra counterpart which only costs one third of the price. On top of that, Govi also offers a student discount at 15% off on all of the products. So if cost is something you need to consider, Govi is a no-brainer choice. Unless you are an entrepreneur, in which case you can write off your expensive lighting setup as a business expense, in which case you would and that's pretty much wrap up this video. This comparison doesn't apply to all the user cases universally, and it could be highly subjective to different scenarios. But for most people out there looking for a cool LED lights to glow your crib, Govi is clearly on the winning side. Leave in the comment section below and let me know which one would you chose between Govi and Philips Hue. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.